Any of you who watch me and think I'm living my dream, you got a whole nother thing coming, baby. I love, I'm, at this point right now, the Lord has certainly blessed me. But I don't do this because I love this. I do this because I love him. And I love him because he spared my life. Because he's wrestling with me with this call. I'm wrestling with this call, son. And at the same moment, while I'm wrestling with this call, I was about 13 years old, 14 years old, and we were on a family trip, and me, we're in the back of the van. It's a big family van, and we're in the back of the van, and me and my sister and brother back there playing and fooling around, and me and my sister Teresa, she, we wrestling, and she pushing me, and I'm pushing her, and she pushed me, and I'm pushing her, and she pushed me, and I went to lean on the back doors of the van, and the doors flew open. This is my testimony. This is why I'm on the stage. This is why I'm a preacher. Them doors flew open. And I was hanging half in and half out. We're flying down the highway in the middle of the night. My dad driving us home from a, from a family trip. I'm hanging half in and half out. My sister is panicking. I look up to say to her, grab me. And when I said that, my body weight shifted and I went out onto the highway. On my stomach. I could feel my skin peeling off my arms and off my stomach. This ain't no story I'm making up. This happened to me. My fingers were getting burned from the, the, from the friction and the heat. If a truck had been behind me, I would not be here. My body went to the side and I started rolling. I heard a voice say, open your legs and stop rolling. I opened my legs and when I jumped up, the van was still driving. My God, he didn't know I'd fallen out. But I jumped up and then finally I saw the van pull over. My dad's running towards me. I, he says, look out. I look behind me, 18 wheels are bearing down on me. I jump over and land in the grass. My dad comes over, are you okay? Gets me up, we go back to the van. When I come back to the van, alive, everybody in the van starts worshiping, and at that moment, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't know what your filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues testimony is, but mine's is laying on my back, bleeding, alive and don't know how thinking to myself how am I alive but before I could say how am I alive he came out my mouth and the next thing I know the Holy Ghost is in the van and I heard God say you gonna work for me now I said Lord <laughs> You got, wait, 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 now hold on a second. Time out. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me <laughs> that I serve you or die? One of the reasons why there's so many folks who are barely used is because they want it too much. They want the stage. They want people to look at them. They want the class. They want the accolades. I tell you right now, the reason why I'm on this stage is because I love the Lord. If I talk about how I love him, I'll get emotional if I talk about how much I love him. I, I can't do it. I don't have the voice to preach and cry. I can't think about what he's done for me. How much I owe it's for love divine. How much I owe since Christ is by what he's done for me. I know I cannot tell how much I owe. Anytime anybody gets on my nerves too much, the Lord says, yeah, but do you love me? Anytime anybody betrays me too much, the Lord says, yeah, but do you love me? Anytime somebody calls me out my name, anybody, anytime anyone has the nerve to question my integrity. And I'm like, I'm done. I don't even have the kind of personality where I need this. Anytime I'm like, I'm smart. <laughs> Anytime I start to think like that, I, I hear a knock on the door and the Lord says, yeah, 
but do you love me, boy? And I said, Lord, that's not fair. You know I love you. He says, all right, then shut up and feed my lambs. Let me stop talking about myself so I can get myself together. You did not survive just for you to have money. You did not survive so you can show everybody what you got. You survived to serve. 